It's day three of models and manipulatives, and today we are talking about addition and subtraction word problems. These operations are pretty straightforward for bar models. For example, this simple problem that students might encounter in kindergarten grade one could first be rep represented with concrete manipulatives, such as linking cubes, and then we can relate that concrete representation to a bar model. So let's take a look at how this same type of problem might become a subtraction problem. This time, instead of trying to find the total pieces of fruit, we know how many pieces there are and we are only trying to find the number of oranges. This time, instead of making two bars, we are just going to make one bar because we have one variable which is pieces of fruit. So here's what that is going to look like. We'll put seven pieces of fruit. We know that we have three apples, so we'll just mark those with an A and then it's clear that the remaining four are our oranges. We can also relate that to an abstract representation as I've shown there. Okay, let's try a more complex problem that we might encounter in older grades. So here's an example of what this might look like. Again, for this one, we're going to look at two different variations, one for addition and one that could be used for subtraction instead. In this first example, we know how many tickets were sold on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we just need to add them up. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at how this same information might be used for subtraction. Here we know our total number of tickets. We know the Friday night, we know the Saturday night, but we don't know the Sunday. So this time when we draw our bar model, it's really easy to see that we can simply take away the Friday and Saturday tickets from our total of 530 in order to figure out how many were sold on Sunday. So using bar models for more simple addition subtraction problems like the ones we've looked at today might not always be necessary. Kids might not really need them, but consider having your students draw them anyways. As we saw yesterday in our fraction example, bar models can get really complex and this is just good practice for when problems do get more difficult. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you tomorrow for day four.